The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the February 26th, otherwise known as the Fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And, of course, inside our Tigers Den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, mixed bag. The Dow's off 260, while the s and is up 9. The Nasdaq 100, 165. The upside, the Russell's up 20. Semis are up 71. So we'll take a look at all those. Uh, lead the charge, the downside. Goldilocks. Goldilocks off 51 bucks. Silver, buck 31. Lights recruit, a buck 50. Lead the charge out here dollar-wise, the upside. It is the trade desk, 51 bucks, nearly 7%. Booking Holdings, 51, 2%. Shopify, 43, 3%. Amazon, 37, a little over 1%. To the downside, let's skip the game stock. Bitwise, 10 crypto, down 15 bucks. Carter's, Inc., down 13. TPI, Composites, off 11. That's about 20%. SVB, Financial, down 2.5 or 12 bucks. So there's certainly things to look at, but I want to look at what you want to look at. So what do you want to look at? Any, any, anybody? What do, you, what do you want to look at? All right, let's go take a look at the markets. Let's go see what they're doing. So you got a bit of a bounce going to be expected, right? Of course. We talked about this yesterday. We talk about this every single time that we see a spot volatility index that has a one-day rate of change greater than 10%. One of the coolest tools out there. Why? Because you get a day like yesterday when the market's moving lower and you can count them on all your fingers, all your toes, even your nose out there. How many people said, OK, I'm going to go ahead and jump on the short bandwagon going into yesterday's close? The exact wrong thing to do, at least from a probability standpoint. Why? Well, let's go find that page out here if I can. Where is it? Good Lord, steve -O, where did you put it? Oh, here we go. Right here. Here's the tab. Now, this tab right here, you go do this, you, uh, you go take a look at, you, you, you know, assuming that you have access to the spot volatility X, all you've got to do, and that's panel number two out here on my screen, all you got to do is put that up on your screen, put a 50-day exponential line to it, and you're square. You're all set. Now, of course, some of you might be new and say, what, what is this guy even talking about? What the, what the heck? Well, here. This maybe gives you a better perspective. Here is an index, the S&P 500 up at the top. Spot volatility index down below, using that same 50-day exponential moving average. The boxes, rectangles, squares, whatever they are out there, are giving you the time periods where that spot volatility index is above or below the 50-day exponential moving average. You tell me, generally speaking, whether or not this is a useful tool for you. Well, it is. It's just one of those useful tools. So you've got that normal bounce type bottom. Is it a bottom? Right now it says it's a bounce, just a bounce. Well, how do we get to that, that it's just a bounce? Well, we continue to use the spot volatility index. If we come back and take a look at this chart out here, you'll see that the spot, we could use any chart, the spot volatility index is still above its 50-day exponential moving average. That's at 2390. In order for this to turn into a bottom, now look, it's, it could still be a bottom, but we may, the train will have left the station. I'm not in that camp because this is not in that camp. But what you would need to see is the spot volatility close below 
twenty three ninety. You get that, and then there's the potential that it was a uh, bottom. Now we'll have to go take a look at the other indices and some other instruments in order to be able to, to get to that uh, a level. But we're not there just yet. We're not there, or the S and P is not there. So how do we summarize this? The bounce that we're seeing in the market, the ES Mini up 11 points, that was to be expected. All of them to be expected. The thing that's not uh, to be expected is the uh, Dow. Let's go take a look at it. In fact, let's go take a look at the daily time frames out here. Let's go take a look at our four panel charts. So the question is, is the Dow going to give a initial change in trend signal with a close below 31,173? Or is price going to close back above it at day's end? And so then it's just really been consolidating with inside its daily profile, the bull structure daily profile. So we'll have to find out by the end of the day. Of course, remember, it's not just one close below support. That's important. It's got to be two consecutive closes. So it would really be Monday's session that would also need to close below it. Inside the Russell 2000. But it's really basically done yesterday and today is test the top of its weekly profile. Price has rejected that. Price has rejected the bottom of its daily profile, 22.15. Okay, more counter trend rally to go. If you take a look at the NQ, what it did earlier in the day or early in the evening, uh, in the overnight hours, this price got all the way back down towards the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. Now, that's the reason to consider that this could be, could be some type of bottom out here. It's a possibility, but we're going to use that spot volatile mix and let that kind of allow us to navigate. We're also going to understand market breath and market breath says, hey, you know what? On the NQ, nice bounce, but not so fast. Now, look, tremendous amount of damage was done inside the NQ. All we have to take a look at is how many instruments inside the NASDAQ 100 are trading above the top of their profiles, which would be bullish versus those trading below the bottom of their profiles, which would be bearish. Right now, we have 14 above. And we have 41 below. We've got 48 that are consolidating. But clearly, there's a lot of damage out here. So this says that the uh, on a daily basis, that sellers are still in control. If we take a look at the week, we're about to end the week out here. The week still says, remember, weekly chart now, right? So the weekly chart, we see price comes back, test the bottom of bullish structured profile, while at the same time, its market breadth remains bullish. 31 instruments from a weekly perspective above the top of the profile, 20 instruments below the bottom. What's this signaling to us? Well, I think this is signaling to us that we should be looking for some type of bottom, but we don't have that confirmation just yet. If we take a look at a four-hour time frame chart here uh, for the NASDAQ, what's the four-hour time frame chart show us? Well, it didn't update for some reason. Why is that? That is strange. Let me try the one-hour. Okay, we've got the one-hour. So the one-hour chart has switched to short-term bullish. We've had a bullish crossover. You now have got 41 instruments trading above the top of their 60-minute profile versus 28 below the bottom. Let me see what the four-hour chart does. Four-hour chart, still in bearish hands. So that says, you know, we should take a look at the NQ, go take a look at the 60-minute time frame, go figure out where it might head. Is there any kind of congruence, whatever congruence means out here? So let's go see what Stevie's congruence might mean. Let's go to that 60-minute time frame. What do we see out here on the 60-minute? Well, what we see is that price is likely targeting 13 168.75 yeah you can put that down in your pad of paper and tell all your friends you heard it here at tfnn during the trader's ed show the nq headed to 13 168 for 13 Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab.
If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to take a look at Nordic American tankers for one of our denners out here having a rough day uh, trading into support. Now, that would be the support of its uh, weekly bullish structured profile in the 296 to 289 ish level on the bottom of the monthly profile is 275. But right now, crushing right through the bottom of its daily profile. That was at 314. And uh, I'm sure that the question is I don't know what the question was actually. It was just if I think, can I? pull it up on the screen and take a look at it and, uh, and take a look at its recent pullback. So the recent pullback would suggest that uh, price is going to head lower. So your entry area is going to be between 275 and 289. But let's pull over our white background charts. Those were the profile levels for weekly and monthly time frame. If we take a look at this daily, let's see how did this thing top. How did it top? What's going on out there? That's odd. Not odd. Okay. So... Uh, Really weird stuff going on here. I'm sorry, that's just that's just me talking. So the daily here is not really providing me with a ton of information other than what we've already taken a look at and prices broken through support. So on a weekly time frame, what do I have? You know, prices uh, test is below its oscillator and change line right now. Again, 289 is very likely where it's headed to on a 30 minute time frame. There could be a short term bottom that forms. Let's see, 30 minutes, 30, eight. By about, by about between 2 and 2.30 is a possibility out there. But I don't really see. That would just be a short-term bottom, very short-term bottom. So I, I think you need to, to be, be, be patient on Nordic American tankers out here. And uh, most certainly we'd want to see some type of, um, some type of bullish pattern form and then some resistance areas fail before you'd like to take an, a, a, a stab at uh, Nordic American tankers. So uh, be patient on this one. And uh, uh, thanks so much for the request out there. We have another request uh, that is uh, to take a look at the Russell 2000. This is for one of our YouTubers. So let me get this out here. How do we want to do this? Um, it's not really broken. So let me we don't really need to look at the long term charts, just the short term and the daily out here. So let's go back to. Let's go to a different panel and take a look at the Russell 2000. And to do that, as soon as I can find it, man, oh, man, 
What's going on here? Okay, here we go. So here's our quads, so to speak. We've got daily upper left, weekly upper right, monthly lower left, quarterly lower right. So what do we know? Like at this stage here, price is just consolidating with inside its daily profile. And that's between the price point of 22.15 to 23.16. Yesterday was a close below. And if today you see it close below 22.15, okay, then that would spell some trouble. That trouble would suggest to move back to the top of its weekly profile, and that'd be at the 20.33 level. That'd be one of its price projections. We know that price has made the 1 to 1.618 expansion of its last set of major swing points. That's the high in 2018, down to the low in 2020. Okay, so it's, a, it's an area... Fibonacci expansion area where people kind of get off the elevator doesn't mean that it's a top of any significance or anything uh, just an area where people have gotten off the elevator and what that's led to is a consolidation with inside that daily profile so that looks pretty good nothing broken on the weekly time frame let's pull over our white background chart see what other information we can glean from the Russell 2000 the daily time frame if it does close below the bottom of the daily profile the actual target would be its breakout area that's 21.13.80. At this stage here, we don't have any signals that that's what's going to unfold, at least today. On a five-minute basis, what do I have going on out here? Not much. Uh, looks uh, bullish to me and suggests price wants to continue to move higher. If I take a look at the 10-minute uh, time frame, what do we have out here? Oddly enough, uh, there we go. Let's get the TD9 breakdown area. Price targeting the next area of resistance is really a 22.37. If price can get above 22.37 on a 10-minute basis, 22.57. We take a look at a 15-minute chart out here for the Russell 2000. What's this suggesting to you and I? Well, there is a TD9 count top that is in place. If price is able to take out today's high, that's going to suggest to move to 22.46. And above 22.46, you'd be looking at 22.89. We're going 22.46 is the call there. 30-minute time frame chart. What do we have here for the Russell 2000? We can see the Rhodes momentum indicator bottoms, and we can see that price uh, ran right up into resistance, tr created a shooting star candle on that last half-hour session at 1 o'clock, right at 22.33.20. Bam! We're there. So we're going to use that 30-minute chart, which is what we re really prefer to versus 5, 10, 15 minutes out there. Uh, and on a 30-minute basis, resistance is 22.33.20. So what you'd be looking for, if there are two consecutive closes above 22.33.20, Russell 2000 is getting ready to run higher. And the ready to run higher out here would say all the way up to 2300. That's the next TD9 breakdown level. So that's from our requester inside the, uh, uh, inside the YouTube channel. I believe that was Ronald with regard to the Russell 2000. Hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for listening and for making a request. Um, Let's go to our email requests out here. We well, most certainly cannot cannot uh, let those slide by. Tim M. writes in. Tim says, could you please take a look at Twitter? TWTR is the uh, ticker symbol. And so the answer there is going to be yes. And let me do that here, TWTR. Okay. Let me do that over on the other chart. Now, what I don't know, TWTR, could you please look at Twitter? Looking for support and resistance levels and TAS levels on the daily and weekly time frames. Okay. Easy enough. So we have out here support on Twitter is going to be 74.84. That's the top of the daily profile. Bottom is at 64.94. That's nothing for you to pay attention to at this moment. As far as the weekly is concerned and monthly, they're above all the profiles. 656.11 is the top of the weekly. 42.45 is the uh, top of the uh, monthly. So uh, that's what we're looking at for your daily uh, support and resistance and your weekly support and resistance let's go give you one more area of support potential support or resistance that's going to be our td9s if anything shows up is anything showing up nah nothing there for you to worry about on the daily and on the weekly time frame as we take a look at it yeah not really anything else twitter looks like it wants to continue to move higher TWTR being the ticker symbol. Uh, Tim, thanks so much for writing in. I hope that that uh, helps you out and have a great weekend. We've also got another request that come in by uh, another request that has come in by email. Oh, I see a few out here. Dan F. Dan writes in. I asked you earlier in the week to uh, about WKHS because it finished the TD nine count. So let me get uh, WKHS workhorse and. WKHS, get it up on our black background screens. Finish the question. I think you said it should reach 1682 before I buy, which it did yesterday and today. 
Is this a good entry? On fundamental news, the big drop is cause they lost a contract with the post office to provide electronic trucks. Okay. Uh, let's go take a look at Workhorse out here. So Workhorse, ideally what you'd like to see this do here, Dan, is hold today, at today's close. 22, wait, I can't be right. What the heck? Uh, oh, there is a new profile, and I just couldn't see it. So the weekly says, oh, boy. Well, okay, so we're back to now to the monthly. And the monthly profile found support at 1318. So let me do this, Dan. We've got a hard break we're going to go to. I'll pull up my other charts. We'll try to figure out what's going on with Workhorse. And the answer to your question is now a good entry point or not. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at Workhorse. WKHS is a ticker symbol uh, for Dan, and uh, Dan's interested in taking a long position inside this uh, equity. And so, Dan, uh, you put you put down sixteen eighty two. I'm gonna guess that I, that was sixteen fifty two was the number uh, that I'd suggested. No, I don't know that to be certain, but sixteen fifty two happens to be the TD nine breakout area. It's most recent, and we wanted price to be able to hold that. And yesterday, price did get above it, but right now, price is trading below it. You're at sixteen twenty five. 
And so we don't like we don't like when price trades below a breakout level because that says that price could get down to the next one. So now if today you did see another close above 1652, you could say, OK, you know, I mean, the TD nines is there. Uh, the, the reason why this should bounce well or slow down. The, the, the fall down should slow down. Oof, that is just terrible grammar, isn't it? My apologies to you. Sorry sorry that your ears had to hear that. You should be inside my ears. You know, I've had tinnitus for about, um, I'm going to guess, 30, 35 years now. It's like a, uh, if, if you've never had that, you shouldn't want it. Uh, you know, if I'm, if I'm in a, uh, like the, the ringing that is going on inside my ears right now is extraordinary. When I say extraordinary, take yourself to the to the uh, highest pitched electrical environment that you could possibly get to that you can actually hear. And just imagine that sound going on 24 hours a day, every second, every minute out there. How did I get into the tinnitus thing? Jeez Louise. In any event, I somehow got there. But what we're going to say with regard to a workhorse is that the reason why it's kind of going to slow down is that oscillator and change line change from green to red. Looks like yesterday or the day before. Typically, what that results in is that line and price catching up to each other. Now, it doesn't tell us whether it's that line's going to fall while price stalls, moves higher, lower. But, the, you know, there, there should be some type of bounce there. But you know what? We're not really seeing a whole lot here. This 15-minute chart. Yeah, you got a nice roads momentum indicator bottom. They were seeing slightly higher highs, slightly higher lows out there. Um, but here's what we're going to say, Dan. Still be patient today. Let's see where things close. Let's look at it on Monday. See if there's any additional information. Well, we don't need to look at it on Monday. If price is below 1652, uh, it suggests that TD9 count pattern could fail or at least would be tested. So that's what we're going to go with on Workhorse, and we're especially going to be cautious here, Dan, because of because of that wide-ranging bar to the downside. So thank you for writing in. Let's go to our next questions out here. I've got to kind of sort through this here. So many, so many junk emails that I get, it, it, just within minutes. Okay, so we've got them cleared out. And uh, John in Sarasota wants to take a look at uh, a couple of symbols out there, WNDW. So let me pull this off the screen here and get that running in the side. So give me a second. WNDW, WNDW. And let's go see what WNDW is. That is solar wind technology. All right. And your question was, if time FUTU also. Yeah, that was your second one. No problem. We'll get to that too for you. So FUTU, get that on my other screen's going to try to why isn't that working f-e-t-u there we go okay so solar winds john yesterday closed below the bottom of its daily profile and today you've got follow through on a weekly basis gigantic gigantic wide-ranging bar to take care of the prior wide-ranging bar from the week before this one has volume to the downside so the suggestion here from a profile standpoint is that price will go target 923. Will it bottom at 923? I don't know. And if it doesn't, it's $3.86. But right now, the signals here are that uh, Solar Wind Technologies wants to head lower. Let's go look at our other charts, see what other kind of confirmations or other areas that we can identify for John in Sarasota. And here is the daily time frame. Nothing better there because this says 355. No reason that it can't get to 355. The weekly time frame chart, you're below the oscillator and change line. That is just simply confirming our initial take that price is targeting 923 to 386. So that's still in play out there. On a short-term basis, on a 30-minute time frame, I don't have any kind of a bottom signal out here. So, John, the answer to your question with regard to solar winds is uh, to stay away from it. It's got more wind to the downside and uh, you want to maybe take a look at it as it gets that 923 level. The next one was uh, FUTU, F-U-T-O, F-U-T-U, my apology, FUTU Holdings. So this is consolidating above the top of a, bullet, of a uh, daily profile. It's well above the weekly profile. So I don't know that the profiles are going to help you and I out a whole lot. Let's go take a look at FUTU and take a look at the daily and weekly in the 30-minute time frame. Let's start, let's start with the 30-minute. So on a 30-minute time frame out here, we don't know what the daily and the weekly look like, but on the 30-minute time frame out here, we've got a bottom signal. Now, price is below 153.92. That's the oscillator and change line. Chances are there will be support at 152.04 to 148.49, back to the daily. And on the daily time frame, 
what do we have out here? Not a whole heck of a lot. Now, it does have a TD9 count top. And with a TD9 count top, it does suggest that price could pull all the way back to test support since it's below the oscillator and change line. The next level of support is 124.98. That's the top of that daily profile. So what do you do? What's the weekly uh, communicate to you and I at this stage here? You know, I'm sure I can write a draw in an A to B equals CD to the upside. And this week, uh, you've got a bear sash candle. So even though the 30 minute is giving you a, a signal of a, a, let's say, call it a counter trend rally, I'm going to suggest here, based on the chart patterns, the TD9 count top on the daily basis, that what you do is you just remain patient. So thanks so much for writing in, John. Much appreciated. Have a great weekend. Let's go out to uh, California and speak with Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are things in Martinez, California today? Oh, we're having a beautiful day, Steve. I'm not sure quite equal to what you have in Florida, but it's probably about, I don't know, it's in the 70s, I guess. 70s is good. 70s yeah, is good. Yeah, it's, it's a nice number, yeah. <laughs> that, means, that means when it gets to the 70s, I get to turn the heat off here in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> I hope one you're person, having one, a good day. It's great to talk one, with you again. One person's summer is another person's winter. That's, a, that's all that is. So we're going to take like a Goldilocks out here. And I think we spoke maybe last week or the week before, and you were looking for some uh, downside targets. Uh, what, what's your question today? Yeah, I was hoping you could take a look at the gold on the longer term. And if you have time, to take a look at oil on maybe a little shorter term, not like minute charts, but just something, you know, of like on the daily, but just not, not going way out. And, and uh, yeah, as far as gold, I just, you know, I've, I've been bearish on it. I've been doing trades, doing puts on the, GLD and, and uh, I'm just thinking that the thing has potential. I just, it often makes some pretty extreme moves one way or the other. So I, I still my target is something below 1500 eventually. I just wanted to see what you had, you know, going out further. Sure, sure. So, Brent, as we take a look at the daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly chart, and I use my synthetic instrument to do that for gold. It's right now sitting at a key level of support, and that level of support is on a quarterly basis, and that's the top of its quarterly profile. And so that number is 172330. Um, and it doesn't matter whether where, whether today closes below that or not because it's a quarterly time frame, but it is a potential support area. And there's no support profile-wise, daily, weekly, or monthly. In fact, monthly would suggest 1561, so it gets you into your 1500 number out there. Hey, Brett, we're about to go to a hard break here. Uh, please hold on through this break. We'll come back. We'll uh, uh, continue taking a look at uh, gold, and then we'll go take a look at Lightsweet Crew. That's for Brent in Martinez, California. Be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are you grinding in market but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader simply looking to make his job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter the path of least resistance is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's ultimate trading newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk free with our 30 day money back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. So we're on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. We're taking a look at gold. And uh, Brent, uh, I've got the weekly time frame chart up on our screen. And we have an A to B equals CD down pattern that is certainly underway. The last time we had an A to B equals CD to the downside in gold on a weekly basis was uh, back in 2017. So they don't happen that often. And the nice thing is that it should set up a really nice buying opportunity. Now, the question becomes, where is that buying opportunity? Price right now, the one to one A to B equals CD to the downside is 17.35. We're at 17.27. The next price projection area, and it doesn't have to get to it right at the uh, right to the tick or anything, is 16.71. That would be the 1.272, and then 15.89 would be your 1.618. And to get all the way down to your 1500, that'd be your one to two A to B equals CD pattern. And that would take you back into the 2020 lows, the March 2020 lows for Goldilocks out there. Any questions so far about gold from what we've looked at? No, that's great, Steve. I just, then my experience, it seems to have kind of exaggerated moves one way or the other. And so I might yes. be off on my target, but I just, I'm willing to be patient. And whenever it does make the bottom, whatever level that is, that's, yeah, I agree with you. There's going to be a buying opportunity. I'm just trying to be patient, let it play out. And I'm doing some of my stuff, you know, like the weekly things, but Absolutely. overall, I'm just looking forward to go lower. No, that's great. I appreciate that. And then again, if you have an opportunity to take a look at oil, yeah, uh, just on the well, shoulder turn. I'd be right a second, but that's the other one. No, no, we're going to, but we're not done with gold. We can't just stop there, uh, because uh, <laughs> from from a weekly standpoint, this is important because we have this A to B equals C to the downside. In order to get to your fifteen hundred level, what you're going to want to see is a close below seventeen oh six twenty. Now, this is going to be bar number seven on a weekly basis. So that says a TD nine count could take place, could confirm over the course of the next three weeks out there. Uh, but 1706.20 is that key breakout area. So if price is able to close below that on a weekly basis, not doesn't have to be this week, Brent, that's what really gets you down to your, then that gets you down to 1459.80. And that's the TD9 breakdown, a uh, breakout area, the next TD9 breakout area on a weekly time frame. So I would watch the 1706. I pay attention to the fact that we're in bar number seven on a weekly basis. The monthly time frame chart, uh, what is this signal to you and I? This signal's 1450 to 1514. So what you're trying to target, you know, it certainly uh, shows up when we take a look at uh, patterns or levels of support inside of the longer term uh, charts out there. So I want to make sure that we gave that information uh, to you as well. And now we can go take a look at uh, Lightsweet Crude. So what are you doing here in Lightsweet Crude so that I can understand how I can best help you? Oh, I'm still long uh, some of the stocks like Oxy and, and uh, you know, er uh, other stocks in that area. Yes. And I just, you know, I know you've talked about, you know, potentially getting to 70. And I just was wondering if, you know, there's anything that you're seeing now that would change your opinion of that. Sure. OK, so great question. So the the, the first thing, folks, when we take a look at this set of uh, lights, we crew charts, again, I'm using my synthetic contract, daily upper left, weekly upper right, monthly lower left, quarterly lower right. What we can see is an A to B equals CD pattern that is unfolded. And we're looking at the monthly time frame. And that gets us up into the, just the one-to-one -one is $70.18. You can see the price has regained its profile. 
And that would suggest to you and I that price should target the top. That's at 67.53. Well, the one to one is at 70.18. If you're going to get to 67, you're going to get to 70. And here's the thing if it gets to 70, 80 is really in play. Because 80 would be the 1.272A to B equals CD to the upside. Now, price has regained its quarterly profile, and it is bullish in structure. And if we see price close above 66.28, that's the center of its bullish structured quarterly profile. That tells us 92 bucks is in the uh, card out there. Now, most people, including myself, would have never thought that that was the outcome or the likely outcome based upon the election results. But, excuse me, <coughs> Brent, <coughs> I sucked in a hairball. <coughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'll, I'll hang with you. It's all good, Steve. Whoa. I must have been a, a little piece of dust, and, and I was doing the uh, breathing, and boom. <coughs> Boy, that was weird. So, so everything on our charts here, folks, look bullish. Yeah, I'm choking on my own words. That's a good way to say it, Mr. Bill. And Brent saying, is there anything that's changed out here? Well, the potential change is that this could be today, depending upon the close on light sweet crude, a confirmation of a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Because this would generate a Three River Evening Star. <clears throat> Price is trading below its oscillator and change line. That's at 62.52. But it's also trading above the top of its profile, its daily profile out here. So it's really kind of neutral. There'd be no reason to act. And even though my white background chart shows a, a different profile level, uh, it, it, it shows the 61.27, I just want to make sure I want to go over to the April contract versus the synthetic version I'm using here. So if you give me just a moment to do that, there we go. And so for April, the number is 6075. So as long as price remains above 6075, uh, it's neutral, and that outlook to move higher doesn't uh, change at all. Any questions there yet? That's great. That's that's the type of information I'm looking for, Steve. I, I appreciate that. Okay. Below 6075. You'd then be looking at a run back to 57.68 to 58.71, you know, thereabouts. But otherwise, everything looks good when we take a look at Light Sweet Crude. But it may be signaling to you and I that it's ready to take just a little bit of a rest. And at least at this stage of the game, that, that's that's all that we see out here right now. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. I just looked at my phone. You're asking about what kind of day we're having. It shows it's only 55. It doesn't feel like that. And again, I'm not sure how accurate the phone is, but it's... Uh, that's really nice. Well, 55 is uh, the new 70. <laughs> <laughs> it shows it getting to 68, but, I mean, it doesn't feel like that when you're out in the sun. I don't know where they're coming up with that temperature. but yeah. And all the trees are blooming. I've got my fruit trees are going to have another good crop this year, it looks like. So it's well, all, you know, all nice here. I, I would love to get out there. One of my favorite uh, sushi bars is over in, across across the way from you over in Sausalito. And um, it's called Sushi Ron, folks, just in case you're ever out there. And uh, over the years, I became friends with the owners out there. Now, I used to be out in that neck of the woods often. And uh, he and I, man, we used to drink such great sake. I still do. We still, I'm sure, I'm sure he does. Yoshi and I do. But it's a great sushi bar, folks. If you, if you enjoy Japanese food, you should check it. Sausalito's a great time. They, they, that entire area where you're at, Brent, it's, a, it's so beautiful. It's pretty darn nice. Speaking of sake, I, I don't think I ever mentioned this to you. My son, oldest son, is making his own sake now. Really? Yeah, he's made a little sake bar down in his. He lives up in Tahoe, but he has a. There's like a basement area in the house that he rents, and so he made a little sake bar, and he's been making his own sake. And and then my youngest son, he's actually going to be soon. He's taking. He already went through college, but he's going to be a going to be a brewmaster. Uh, really? For, brew, uh, for beer? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, that's very cool. So one cool. of these days, yeah, you'll have to sample my son's sake, see if you like it. I, I was, I was already <laughs> going to say to you, Brent, road trip is what it sounds like to me. I think we need, I think we need to uh, go live from uh, Lake Tahoe. <laughs> sounds uh, like a plan. I really appreciate well, your help, Steve. Have a wonderful weekend, and you thank bet. you so much for all your help. That that was, you know, tremendous what you just did. So you take care. Right, great. Thanks, Brent. Always good to talk to you. Folks, we'll be back in just a few. Right now, the Dow down 356. The S&P's off two. NASDAQ uh, up 127. We'll be right back.
The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. You know, I've got the 10-minute uh, time frame chart for the ES Mini up on my screen. And, and the reason is there's some dinners. I like to be of as, as much assistance as I can. And I see a little chatter in the den uh, trying to navigate the ES Mini as we speak right now. So the 10-minute time frame chart suggests that there is a Gartley buy pattern that is uh, forming out there or could form. And so there's an A to B equals CD to the downside. In a nice move off of the uh, lows from 1020 this morning, again, we're looking at a 10-minute time frame chart. You can see the prices uh, approaching the one-to-one -one level. That's at 3820. And below that, uh, we'd be looking at about the 3812 area. The point here, for those of you that are intraday trading, I just want to make you aware of the 10-minute time frame chart that's on the ES Mini. If you see a bullish reversal candle form, that's going to be your signal that, okay, the market is ready to resume its move higher out there. That's the message from the ES Mini. What's the message from the NQ for its 10-minute time frame? I don't know, but let's go take a look at it. It's been stronger than the others. Also an A to B equals CD to downside. A retracement much uh, shallower here, but the A to B equals CD pattern, and what you'd ideally like to see is all these patterns come together at the same time. So you're looking at 12,924 as the one-to-one -one area, maybe 12,887 out here. If we take a look at the Russell 2000 for the same time period, our uh, H21, 10 minutes, what do we have out here? Here, really hard-pressed to draw in an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. And I know for the Dow, I cannot do that for its 10-minute time frame 
Oh, I take that back. Oh, I take that back. Well, I am H21. And uh, so, no, there is also a Gartley buy pattern in what is the weakest indice. So here's how you really track this thing, right, folks, is pay attention to the Dow. We know that's the weak indice out here. It, too, has an A to B equals CD. It has hit the one-to-one -one level. Now, it's a 10-minute time frame chart. We've got four minutes to go. It's possible that this bar on this 10-minute time frame at 2 o'clock is going to be a hammer candle. And if so, the weak indice on a 10-minute basis just gave you a Gertley buy signal. I don't know if it's going to or not. But, folks, uh, thanks so much for being here. Have a fantastic weekend. Be safe out there. Take your vitamin D.